Hey everyone, it's Mara Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. I'm pretty excited today to share with you my bedroom tour. We bought a house back in December of 2019 and moved in January of 2020. This is our first home together. Cesar and I have lived in three different apartments together over the course of five years of living together. So it has been a blessing to have this home and so fun to be able to source and decorate and just get the right kind of vibe going that we want for our first home. So if you're interested in hearing and seeing more, stick around. Here is the overall view of the bedroom. When you walk in, our king size bed is truly front and center. It was something that I wanted for literally years. And we had a queen bed when we were in New York and when we moved back to Denver. And once we bought the house, it was one of my first major purchases. Actually, it's one of the only brand new major purchases that I made for us. And we got it at like Mile High Mattress and we're still like breaking it in. We've had it for um, two, three months now and just really enjoying the space. Cesar is kind of a bed hog, so now I have a little bit more space. The bedding, the, the white quilt set is from Kohl's and the pillows here are from TJ Maxx and don't mind the airplane noises. <laughs> the foot of the bed blanket is from TJ Maxx. We got the headboard off of Facebook Marketplace for like $75. I really love the color, the tufting. It was in like new condition, so it was a pretty good find. Our nightstands are old. We got them in New Jersey. They're from Ikea and just really nice, easy nightstands to style and decorate. The two lamps I actually got from a thrift store for like $4 each. This is my side of the bed and I have some knitting materials, also my homesick candle that I got from my bestie a few years ago. I kept the container because I think it's so cute. I love their branding. I have a basket with some self-care items, including some like eucalyptus mint leg and foot lotion that Cesar got me that I love, and a one-lighted a gratitude journal that I write in every night, and just some more knitting materials down here. Our foot of the bed bench was also a Facebook Marketplace find, and I got it with some different material on top. It was, I think it was $10, maybe 15. Anyway, when Cesar's parents came to visit for the first time, right before quarantine and everything happened, his mom and dad helped us reupholster this with fabric from Hobby Lobby and really love how it turned out. The artwork that we have in our bedroom Cesar actually hates <laughs> so we're gonna change it out I'm not sure what we're gonna do I'd actually like to add a third frame here because I think styling in threes is the way to go but we, so our theme 
for our bedroom and our house is what I like to call modern desert vibes. And that means like very natural colors and boho inspired decor. And so I'm looking for some kind of artwork that speaks to that vibe that isn't exactly like photographs. I'm looking for actual artwork, like illustrations or paintings. This is what you see whenever you're in bed and it's my favorite view. I spent some time going thrifting and I've had some of this stuff even before we got our house. Everything on this dresser was thrifted or secondhand purchased besides Maeve, our plant. I have a few diptyque candle holders that literally hold random hairpins. This guy hasn't been holding much, but it right now has my SD card in it. And I picked this really sweet picture up from the thrift store. I've increasingly become obsessed with looking for ceramics and pottery. At thrift stores, it's like a new obsession on my be on the lookout list for thrifting. And this is our Alexa, which is being housed in another homemade ceramic bowl. And then one of Cesar's friends gifted us this alarm clock that it's like a sunlight, you can set it and then like five or 10 minutes before the alarm goes off, it starts to light up like the sun. We were living in a ground level apartment before we bought our house and it had literally zero natural light. And this was a huge help. And we have just continued to use it because we love it so much. This dresser is also made by Ikea. We purchased it off of Marketplace or Craigslist a number of years ago and love how deep the drawers are. They hold a ton of clothes. And another perk is that this dresser matches our bedside tables. This wall decor I actually made myself. It was a DIY project and I will link to the inspiration that made me make this. In the future, I would love to upgrade this mirror. This is a very simple $10 mirror from Target and I have had my eye on more statement-like mirrors. So that's on the wish list. Now I'm going to show you real life closet and I actually just switched over my winter clothes to my warmer spring and summer clothes. So my closet is kind of awkward. You like have to walk into it, but it's not really full length or full width of a walk-in. So again, it's kind of awkward, but I have my bathrobe to the left with jewelry and at the top we have shelves for storage and then there's two racks I like to color code. Bunch of my like winter coats and jackets are over here. I'm just going to keep those out even when it's warm and my bottom rack, mostly black. Whenever I moved from New York, I would say like 70% of my closet was black, 
was very New York-esque. And now I am trying to embrace some color, as you can see. <laughs> Blues and greens, a little bit of white, and a touch of pink here. And then I have a shoe rack here. I just switched over my winter shoes as well. And you can see some of my boots are over here. I also have some boots stored under the bed in a container. And then this is totally a work in progress. I really spent a lot of time trying to organize. I just have so much random little stuff. So these bins have been helpful. I have like my travel essentials here and I have my work travel bag and then this bag is full of other bags. Um, and then up top, the plastic bags that you see, the reusable bags, I have clothes in that I want to share whenever we're able to have gatherings again. A few girls I know like to do like clothing swaps. So when I went through my closet about a week and a half ago, I put together a bag full of stuff that I'd like to give away during a clothing swap. So that's our bedroom tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes of how it was put together. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be back soon.